Hello guys and welcome back to my channel where we read scary stories and creepy legend. As always, my name is V and I really hope that I would be your favorite storyteller for, you know, the paranormal aspect of this. Okay, so without further ado, let's get back to the story. The stories that I'm going to be sharing below might have really happened. It might be just a construct of someone's imagination. I am not allowed to tell. But back in the 1960s, a close friend of mine who took an additional midwife certification after she had, to, had qualified for a staff nurse shared all of the story with me. She did do her training in a rural, rather rural, isn't that like a tongue twister? Rather rural, rather rural, rather rural part of Malaysia that allowed her to experience many other you know, paranormal aspect that came with the job of being a midwife. To protect her identity, we, we shall call her Becky, since she likes Beyonce. Becky had to stay late at the hospital for one delivery. She had completed it almost dawn and was walking back to a hostel. She had to pass through a small forest to reach the place. However, she had a problem finding a way out. She kept going back to the same place again and again, seeing the same large tree. She knew something was not right, so what she had to do was to squat down and urinate on the soil, as advice passed to her from the previous midwives who were working in the hospitals. And that's what she decided to do. First she waited and then she gradually to make sure uh, gradually saw to make sure that there was no one around and she squatted down and took a big piss. Gradually, the part began to clear up and she was able to see the correct route out of the forest. She told, um, sorry, she told me and also a few other of us that if we were to encounter the same issue, we should definitely squat down and urinate. Apparently, the villagers around that area had already frequently tracked back the forest for many practices like you know dark magic so this them the forest itself might be possessed with a few other spirits that confuses people that walk around that part so they can be caught by them so apparently this is what you're gonna do if you were lost in a jungle in the middle of the night especially if it's a jungle that you've passed like a million times but for some reason you're still like going a loop but first of all why would you be in a jungle in the middle of the night Try to avoid that situation first. Okay, so the second story that she had shared with me was quite creepy. So um, during Becky's tenure as a qualified nurse, she did work in the labor and delivery ward for about six years. That's a long time, honestly. She had told me the story with a sad expression with her face. Uh, once there was a robust and healthy looking female TLDM um, officer. For those who are not Malaysian, TLDM is Tentera Laut Darat Malaysia. It's our land army. Land army? Land Askar. Eh, hey, Askar is Malay. Land soldiers. Okay, so and this woman was in her early 40s. She was due for a second child. Not so sure why, but Becky suddenly had this weird feeling that kind of shook her off. She took a look at the woman and told her to be careful and to also lock her doors and window every night until she were to give birth. This was definitely a weird fucking <laughs> advice, Becky. Honestly, I bet that the woman was just like, huh? Becky herself wasn't so sure why she had advised this woman this. She had not known this woman before this as well. But surprisingly, it was a good advice. Becky saw the woman just a few days after, even though her initial uh, labor day was like for another week or so. And the woman had um, told Becky that she kept on seeing this woman in white that particular night that she had came to the hospital. And... The woman in white was floating outside our condominium, which what shocked her so much that she kind of fell and had to give labor right away. The doctor handling the woman just ignored whatever the woman was rambling about and got right into helping her to give birth. Becky was also one of the only nurses there, so she was the one who helped the nurse throughout. I'm sorry, the doctor throughout giving labor for you know 
this woman. So after like you know the next day and all that, she took the opportunity to talk to the woman. After the woman looked a little bit more better, she asked, "What were you talking about? What were you like babbling about yesterday? Were you like high?" Aku rasa dia nak anakku. The woman had started answering her question. The woman continued saying that she felt like she was being stalked by someone even before meeting Becky a few days ago. But she thought that it was paranoia. This is why you should never call a woman crazy, you know. Like if we feel something's off, something fucking off, man. Like for me, I try, I like look at all the details all the time. So I feel as if it's quite easy for me to know something's wrong, but sometimes it's hard for me to tell people why exactly. You know, it's just like a feeling thing. Sorry, coming back to story. Uh, but Becky advice apparently really helped the police because it kind of confirmed whatever the I'm sorry the officer was feeling. So she did take precaution of like closing the door, locking everything right before sleeping, which is probably the only reason that she actually has a beautiful baby boy right now. Um, so um, just so you know, a few days after all of this happened, the lady's husband actually had. Informed um, Becky as well, saying that they did go to a bomo to try double check what's going on. For reasons unknown, this uh, military officer, right, this woman was actually being followed by a pontiana that specifically wanted her child. Now, neither does Becky or the woman have the answer for why till now. But of course, the woman thanked Becky for her advice because that definitely pushed her to investigate her bad feeling a little bit more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really appreciate you guys being with me for such a long time and just going through the ups and downs of my life. I know that I've not been like posting regularly because of some personal issue. I actually just lost my kitten and it has been sad. <laughs> But I'm back. <coughs> I promise to you all that I will definitely post content more frequently. And please like always. If you like the content, like, subscribe, and share. And if you hated my fucking voice and you wanted me to know that, comment down below. And till next time, guys. Bye bye. Don't forget to subscribe. If not, I'll send some scary friends behind you.